In this tutorial I will be going throughout the process of UV making a bipod uh, in Maya. I will try to go slow so you can keep up with me. My name is Hassan Al Kasmi and welcome to my first tutorial. Uh, I started recording this uh, tutorial um, instantly uh, since I didn't want to train uh, several times. Uh, I was hoping to um, make some mistakes and uh, that you would learn throughout the mistakes I make that might happen to you. This is a character that I made and uh, since I want to texture it and the uh, normal map it, I have to uh, UV map it of course. Uh, I won't be talking during this presentation at all time. Let's ta uh, start with uh, making a planar mapping, since if you do that uh, then you will get all the UVs um, in the area, in your work uh, space. This square will be your workspace. Uh, after that you can uh, put the material on, I won't go in detail about materials, just uh, uh, throw a new material on uh, with a checker pattern. If you use that, then you can see the distortions clearly. And uh, if something is not, uh, if the checker pattern isn't showing uh, normally, then uh, something is probably wrong. Um, if we try by, if we start by making some uh, seams uh, on both foot, then you'll notice that you will have to do that. Uh, on uh, every part of the body and it will uh, cost a lot of time. Uh, the best way to do the UV mapping for a biped is uh, by cutting it in half and then uh, just doing the half part of it and then going back and um, merging the middle parts like the body since you don't want a seam in the middle of your biped. You usually want the seams to be at places that uh, won't be noticed, um, like between the legs and so. Here I will be laying a seam uh, at the border of the sh shoes, since uh, it's a border and uh, a natural seam, I would say. Uh, I will lay one um, on the lower part as well. Um, I will come back to why I did that. Um, I will separate the lower part as well. Um, since when you're doing UVs you have to think 2D. Uh, this is a 2D space. Since textures are 2D space uh, pictures that you put on a 3D geometry. And uh, you, can't, uh, you can't flatten out um, a shoe. Uh, without getting uh, overlapping uh, faces and uh, distortion, so you have to cut it somehow, and um, that's what I'm doing right now. If you choose an UV in your um, viewport, then you can uh, just uh, press uh, Control uh, and the left uh, button on your mouse, and then go to Shelf. Uh, that will uh, mark all the all the UV points in the same uh, area, in the same border. Um, that's how I move uh, the shoe UVs. Uh, and that's uh, how I mark all uh, mark uh, all the character UVs and move them away. It's a good idea to move uh, all the UVs out of your workspace. Uh, and uh, zoom in a bit to see the squares better. After you have done that, just choose the UV UV for the shoe and uh, go to shelf uh, and uh, unfold it. After that, you can just uh, keep unfolding it uh, until you get the best results. Um, I did the same for the bottom part of the shoe as well there. And uh, now that we can see the checker pattern a bit better, uh, you can rescale and um, 
rescale the size of the shell to get uh, the same amount of uh, texture area um, in general as you can see here I'm uh, choosing the part that I uh, decided to have uh, at its own um, now that we have it like that we can uh, try to uh, make the make its uh, edges as uh, flat as possible um, that will that will uh, help us to get uh, use our UV area as much as possi uh, possible and get uh, as much uh, texture resolution as possible um, everywhere if you have uh, s straight edges um, it will be easier to put uh, together the um, UVs better so always try to have uh, straight edges but um, but the problem will be that you will get some distortion so you have to decide if it's uh, too much or too uh, of or if it's acceptable to to do it um, in this case since it's uh, just a round uh, part on the shoe uh, it shouldn't be much of a problem with having the um, edges straight Uh, as you see here, I can't unfold um, the edges by just unfolding. So what I will do is uh, I will choose the border vertexes and then just uh, make them straight. And then after that, um, I will try again to unfold the pieces to get a better result. Now I get a, a bit better result, but still we could uh, make the lower part and the sides a bit more straight so I will just uh, do it manually uh, by marking it and yeah, pressing the buttons uh, after that it's a good idea to try to mark the border edges of the border border UVs of the shelf and then um, shift to the select the the shell and then try to relax uh, the inside and see what kind of results you get if you get some distortions that you can see on the checker pattern then just try to uh, unfold the the UVs and you will probably get uh, a much better result as you can see right there uh, what I like to do is uh, to put the um, UVs um, in places that I will make me remember which part they are. Now I'm putting the shoes beneath the character's uh, body and uh, therefore I will know where the shoes are. I will also cut the legs uh, at, the, at the space where the edge loop is uh, going around. Um, and here I will be cutting the arms as well um, that loop isn't probably that good so I will be using the one above it, above it since it goes uh, exactly under the arm and uh, has the most uh, least chance to be seen a good way to knowing that um, uh, which which edges you have uh, selected is uh, by pressing the focus button F um, and it will uh, focus on the area. If you get a bigger area than you expect then you probably have uh, selected some extra edges. Um, you can usually instead of clicking edge by edge uh, just uh, double clicking uh, an edge and uh, it will follow the loop. Um, sometimes it goes uh, around the whole body and you can just uh, remove it by uh, pressing control and uh, marking it away uh, at this point I will be cutting um, um, a seam around the wrist as well 
Sans uh, some uh, sometimes cutting some uh, places will make it much easier to UV map. 